In this problem, we're going to verify that this equation is not true. So we'll just work out each side, and then at the end, uh, we'll show that they're just not the same. So solution. So let's start with the left-hand side. We have x times big D plus 1, and then big D minus 2 times y. Oh, and so, so what is big D? Um, big D is the differential operator. So if you take big D and you apply it to like a function y, it just gives you the derivative. So it operates on whatever you multiply it by. So multiply it by you know, e to the 2x, it'll give you the derivative of e to the 2x. It's called an operator. Okay. So let's apply this to y prime. So we'll keep this one here, xd plus 1. And how it works is you basically just multiply, except you keep in mind that when you, when you take big D and you multiply it by y, you're really taking the derivative. So it's y prime and then minus 2y. You just multiply the numbers, no big deal there. Now we're going to take xd and apply it to each one. So taking xd and applying it to y prime will give us x. And then big D means you take the derivative of y prime, so y double prime. And then distribute. So we have this times this. And then this times this means we have minus 2x. And then the derivative of y is y prime. Now we'll take the 1 and distribute. So it'll be plus y prime. And distribute again, minus 2y. It's really important to be really careful when you're first working with this stuff. It's really, really easy to, to mess up, super easy to mess up. So this is equal to x, y double prime. Um, there's a 1 here, so I'm going to factor out a y prime and write it like this, plus 1 minus 2x. I know it's a little confusing. And then y prime. I'm doing this because I want to write the final result in uh, operator form. And now let's write it in operator form. So we're going to replace y and all of its derivatives with big Ds. So we have x. This will be d squared plus, and this is 1 minus 2x, big D. So see, the second derivative is d squared. First derivative is d. There's no derivative here, so I'm not going to put a d. And then we'll put a bracket and we're going to apply this to y. So that's the differential operator notation. Really cool, right? So if you if you work backwards, it should make sense, right? Think about it. x d squared times y means x times the second derivative. Boom, there it is. Really cool notation. All right, so now let's work out the right-hand side. This is a little bit trickier, I think. So d minus 2. Then we have x d plus 1. And we're applying this to y. Let's focus on this piece first. So we still have d minus 2. OK, so xd is being applied to y. So that's going to give us x y prime. And then 1 is being applied to y. That just gives us y. We're just multiplying. Whenever it's a number, you just multiply. All right, now we're going to apply d to x y prime. Keep in mind, d means take the derivative. So we actually have to take the derivative of x times y prime. So we get to use some calculus. Recall when you have a product of functions, fg, and you take the derivative, it's a product rule. So it's the derivative of the first, which is your f, times the second, plus the first, times the derivative of the second. So we're going to take big D, and we're going to apply it to this and use the product rule. So the derivative of x is 1 times the second, which is y prime, plus the first, which is x times the derivative of the second, so y double prime. Let me just check it. The derivative of x is 1 times the second, which is y prime, plus the first, which is x, times the derivative of the second, so you get y double prime. Then apply big D to y, so we did it to this. Now we have to do it to this also. Let's not forget that. It's easy to forget. It's so easy to mess up. Good stuff. And then now you just distribute the negative to negative 2xy prime, and then negative 2y. All right, let's see if we can combine like terms here. I'm going to um, write this one first. So this is x, y, double prime, okay? And there's two y primes here, right? So I'm going to write this as plus two y prime. It's y prime plus y prime, and then minus two x y prime. 
and then minus 2y. Let's go ahead and clean this up a little bit. This is x, y double prime, plus, here we can pull out, um, I think we can pull out a 2y prime. So let's write it as, uh, well, let's pull out a y prime actually, just 2 minus 2x, two y prime. Let's just focus on the on the y's and y primes. You can pull out a 2 as well, but it doesn't matter. And now let's write it in differential notation. This would be in differential notation bracket x. Replace the, du the double prime with a d squared. Plus, I'm going to go ahead and pull out that 2. I just, I just feel like doing it. It's bothering me. <laughs> and then d. And then minus 2. And then bracket. And then we have our y. And let's see. They're almost the same, but they're not. You see there's a difference here. So this shows that they are not the same. So uh, it takes a bit of work uh, to get used to this uh, operator notation. I hope this video has been helpful.